Hello there. So, if you are wanting to make some metallic ink for your low Cornell pen, you have some options. If you have a metallic watercolor palette, you can, you know, wet that and use that. But I'll show you how to mix some quick metallic ink so you can use it um, in your low Cornell lighting pen. This has the cup here. It has the writing apparatus there. This is the cap for that. It's also uh, to clean out afterwards. You put it on here and you squeeze and it pushes it through there. It also comes with, if I can find it, <laughs> a cleaning tool, <laughs> which is necessary. Okay, this is the cleaning tool. I had to get my other one because I don't know what I did with <laughs> this one. Anyways, it's a needle type tool that you just you can pop it down from the top and you pick it right into the barrel which it's kind of hard to get in that little bitty hole but so you pop it through the hole on either side to unclog it when you're working with it if you need to unclog it use your finger like so so that it doesn't spill and then twirl it around a bit and that will unclog it while you're writing Trust me, you'll end up using it while you're writing because it doesn't matter what you put in it, sometimes they dry. Okay, so you don't need much ink in these to do any, whatever it is you're working on there. Um, you just need a round brush, your pigment, some gum arabic, and some water. So you want to put a little bit of your pigment and metallic pigments uh, are not easy to mix, so just know that it's not just going to whip right up. <laughs> That's quite a bit, too. That's quite a lot. A lot. But you want about equal parts gum arabic to powder. drops of water a few there oh it's such beautiful ink or <laughs> isn't that gorgeous pigment oh my goodness and then you mix it together so this is similar to how you make watercolor paint um, if you're making just a very small amount this is it let it dry and you can re-wet it and use it again if you're making a bigger amount that you want to have like a half pan and save, um, you know, in a watercolor palette, add a little bit of honey to it so it'll re-wet better. Ooh, this stirred up nicely. Okay, so that is just about mixed. If it's not gritty, you can use it like this. You might, you know, if you want like a really, really nice fine ink, you're going to need to make regular paint and mill, mill, mill the pigment, sorry, you know, grind it out with your Mueller. So that is still a little thick for consistency, so you're going to want to add some water to that. You want it to come off of your brush basically in drops, but not so much that it's watery. Okay, so the round brush is so you can load your pen with it. Okay, so you load your brush and then got a bubble in there. You want to kind of grab it, do it from the side so it drips down nicely, nice and neat. And then fill your barrel just by there's a nice full barrel. And let's check our consistency here. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. And then you just test it out by getting a bead going, and it's already going. <laughs> Yay! Beautiful. 
Okay, and then you just keep it kind of at an angle. Um, the more perpendicular, is that perpendicular? Up and down to the paper <laughs> you are, um, the easier it writes. If you turn it, angle it, it kind of doesn't write too well. So you want to hold it to where the tool part here is flat with the paper. And if you procrastinate, it will clog at the tip because gum arabic is highly sticky. like so and there you have some beautiful metallic watercolor ink for your low Cornell pen hello